In this lesson, we're going to go over exporting for 3D printing and cleaning up a model. Make sure it is ready to be 3D printed. So make sure you're in object mode and you have Suzanne selected. And we're going to go into the 3D printing tab and just check all. Notice that we have zero non-manifold edges. Perfect. Uh, let's see. And But it does say we have 40 overhanging faces. So let's take a look at that really quack hit tab. So if you have polygon selected, just hit control A to deselect everything. And if I scroll around here, remember how we used to have the ear and the back of the head that was really, really needed support materials. Let's go ahead and click on the overhang face button. And Blender highlighted these. So these are saying that these are breaking the 45 degree rule. So if you want, feel free to come in here and you know, maybe go into edge mode and grab some of these these little edges here and try and fix that if you'd like. That is one way to do it. So now you can re you know check it all. And just kind of move these around until you feel like it is fixed. But like I said, I like to live a little dangerously, even with these overhanging eyes. I think we're gonna be okay when 3D printing those. So I'm going to just test it. Feel free to leave those. That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to 3D print this and really just test, you know, how far can we stretch these overhanging angles. So we've got our flat base. We've got a little bit of overhanging, but let's go ahead and export this out for a 3D printer. I'm happy with it. So to do that, go ahead and go back to object mode. Make sure you have your Suzanne layer clicked. So the first step is the export path. Just click on this folder and tell Blender where you'd like to send the files. I have a final STLs folder and then just hit accept. So that's where they're going to land. And then you choose your format. Most of the time you can just leave it on STL or maybe OBJ, but let's leave it for STL and hit export. Notice it lights up at the bottom and says it's been exported and let's go check it out. And here is our file. Notice it is the name of our Blender project and the name of the layer. So exporting 3D printing, Suzanne. And you can open this STL file in any slicing software that you want. It is ready to 3D print. I'm going to double click and open mine in Simplify 3D. This is a professional 3D slicing software, but you can download other ones like Cura or just Google search free slicing softwares. And you can download a slicing software that will cut the print up for you and send the G code over to your 3D printer. So for settings, I'm just going to use maybe a 10% infill and no raft, no supports. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and hit OK. But it's a little large, so I'm going to double click and scale it down to 50% and prepare for print. So you can see it's only going to take about an hour and 30 minutes and cost about 53 cents of material and plastic. And there we go. We've got it. Let's. It looks like it is 3D printable. So let's just do a scrub check. And there we go. We've got a nice 3D print. That's where it will start trying to bridge right there. And then it will just keep on going and make Suzanne the monkey. So here's my time lapse. I think it turned out really cool. In the next video, we're going to be throwing out a challenge if you feel like it. We're going to be adding simple effects to the Suzanne Monkey to add cool designs.